The prototype property in JavaScript allows us to add specialized methods and properties to our custom objects and classes. There may be occasions when you must specialize the functionality of a class-based object during runtime of your application, and the prototype property allows us to do that. It also enables object inheritance in JavaScript, which we will be demonstrating in the video that follows this one. So let's write some code that demonstrates how the prototype property works at a basic level. First, create a new test.html page. Open a script element, and go down a couple of lines and close that script element. The first thing we're going to do is create an example class again. And in this example, we're going to create a class called player. So we established the player class based object. So here's our player class, or player object. And you can see we have two properties. The first one is name property, and the second property is hit points. And that has a default value of 100. The name will be assigned to the player after the object instance is created in just a moment. So each instance of the player class will be assigned name and hit points. And it will also have a custom method of attack. So the dynamic argument coming into this method is opponent. And then we're going to take the opponent's hit points property and decrease them by 10 during the attack method. So it's a very simple class-based object set up for representing a game player. Now directly under that, we'll create two new separate player instances and we'll name them P1 and P2. So that represents player 1 and player 2. Now directly under that, we're going to name the players. Now directly under that, we're going to make player 1 attack player 2. So we say P1, and we access the attack method using dot notation. So we say P1 dot attack P2. So player 1 is going to attack player 2. And then after that line, we're just going to alert to ourselves that p2.name, which is Hercules, has however many hit points left after the attack. That's what we're going to alert to ourselves. And at this point, we haven't even used the prototype property left. We're just setting up an example class and then the corresponding code to access that class. But right after we test this, we're going to play around with the prototype property. So now let's run this in our favorite browser and see what we get. Hercules has 90 hit points left. OK. So you can see that Hercules has 90 hit points left because Conan attacked him and damaged him and made his hit points decrease by 10. Now within this method for developer purposes, so if you want to see which object is accessing, you can just say this dot name and then concatenate into a string opponent dot name. And you can write just hit. So it'll say the name of the person hitting the opponent's name. Press Control S and run that in your favorite browser. So Conan just hit Hercules. Hercules has 90 hit points left. So you see how that little application is running? So we can access Conan, which is the instance that is calling this player class. And then you can also access the other object by accessing the dynamic argument object. Okay, now directly under that, we're going to add a heal method to the player object using the prototype property. So let's target the player object, use dot notation to access the prototype property. Let me say dot heal is equal to function heal. Open close parentheses, open a curly brace, go down a couple of lines and put in your closing curly brace, and also a semicolon to break that statement. So as a dynamic argument coming into this method, we're going to scoop up target player. And then inside of the method, we simply say target player dot hit points property, which is established up here in the player class or in the player object, plus equals five. That way we'll heal that player for five points. Now let's make player one heal player two. And to do that, we just say p1 dot heal so you can access the heal method that we just specialized for the player object. And then we say P2, semicolon. So player one heals player two. We can just copy this same line again up here and run it down here to see how many hit points player two has after he's been healed using this prototype based method that we added to specialize the object. Now, if we run this in our favorite browser, we get Conan just hit Hercules. Hercules has 90 hit points left because Conan hit him for 10 points of damage. 
And then Hercules has 95 hit points left after he's been healed. That means the healing for 5 hit points worked correctly. And it will work for player 1 and player 2. So player 1 has not been hit yet, so he still has 100 hit points. Player 2 now has 95 hit points because he got hit once for 10 points of damage. But then he got healed for 5 points. So if I was to take this line and say p1.name has p1.hit points. So they're both different instances of this player class. All right, so now you know how to use the prototype property to add specialized methods to your objects. Now, directly under that, we're going to add an energy property to the player object using the prototype property. So we just demonstrated how you can add a new method to specialize your player object. Now let's show you how to add a new property. And it's very simple. We just say player.prototype.energy is equal to 200 or whatever you want to start it as any property name any value but I'm just going to make the new property named energy and its value 200 by default and then let's just simply alert player one dot energy so you can access any instance of the player class either player one or player two and alert its energy property and you'll see that you have a 200 so if you run this all in your favorite browser you have Conan just hit Hercules. Hercules has 90 hit points left, then 95 hit points. Then Conan has 100 hit points left because he never got attacked by player 2. Then you see a energy property of 200 for player 1. All right, so using prototype, you added an energy property to your player object here. And using the prototype property, you also added a heal method. So now you know how to add methods and properties to your specialized classes or objects in JavaScript. And using the prototype property also enables JavaScript object inheritance. So you can create parent classes and child classes that will inherit all the characteristics of the parent class, which I'll be demonstrating in the very next video. So don't miss that one.